IR spectroscopy, which stands for infrared spectroscopy, helps us identify a compound using a beam of infrared light to determine molecular vibrations in that compound. Some of the light is absorbed while some is transmitted through the compound. Different functional groups absorb different wavelengths of infrared light, which creates the specific IR wavelengths for individual compounds. The first step is to clean the IR plate. That way, only the sample of the compound will be measured. After the IR program is open, the sample measure must be taken. The program will first run background scans, and then the compound sample must be placed on a little square. If it is a liquid, do not place the clamp on the sample. If it is a solid, engage the clamp. Our compound is ethanol, a liquid, so we will not place the clamp on the sample. The resulting graph shows the wave numbers for particular molecular vibrations in the compounds. Label the peaks and print out a copy of the spectrum. Comparing the wave numbers of the peaks to an IR chart, the functional groups of the compound can be determined. The peaks shown here are the ethanol functional groups. And that's how you do an IR spectroscopy.